Well, it seems like it's been a half a year since I made a video. And, uh, man, time's flew by since the off season started. Uh, so, like it's yesterday that I was running in Miami now. It's been, what, two or three weeks? So, <laughs> time's flew by. I'm already catching the, uh, fever of NASCAR. I'm waiting for February to get here. Uh, but I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving and, uh, hope everybody's doing good. Uh, just been uh, chilling, watching a lot of football, trying to uh, work into, and doing stuff like that. Uh, first of all, I want to say uh, congratulations to the NASCAR fan Brad Number Two and Shiny Knife out there for getting uh, winning that contest and getting their diecast. Uh, it was uh, fun to see a couple people win it. But next year we're coming back with a bang. I'm already starting to get some new cars out ready for it. We we got Clint Boyer going on here. We got Paul Menard and William Byron, Rainbow Warriors. Throwback scheme there. So them cars will be put in there for next next year uh, for 2019. And uh, so yeah, it's been a good football the last couple of weeks. Uh, like I said, watch it. If you're a quarterback, don't don't play for the Washington Redskins because. There's some going on there, but it seems like they just keep breaking their legs or something. <laughs> but uh, my Steelers are just losing games horribly. Uh, don't know what's going on with the deal with them, but they just keep messing up, getting a big lead, blowing it. Yeah, I will. But, uh, yeah, some nice core news. We've got Kurt Busch heading in one car. We all knew that was going to happen. It was just a matter of announcement and monster energy going on with him. Uh, it's the only thing that saved him. And, uh, Sign a one-year deal there. I think he'll announce his retirement next year. It'll be his last year. Because uh, I don't see any war for him to go after next year. And uh, 78 team. Uh, Verde Racing has been bought, guys. Uh, can't remember exactly who it was bought him, but it's on the internet. Google it and look it up. It'll tell you. Then we'll be running. Uh, they got, you know, with the charter and all that, they'll be guaranteed a spot. He'll be, uh, that they're going to run a number 77 Chevrolet. Uh, no, don't know the sponsors, don't know any details about it, just that's all I know about it. Number 77, Chevrolet. Uh, so yeah. I also want to thank all the people that participated in the Pick 5 contest in 2018. All the cool people out there I met. I can't sit here and name everybody, or it'd take all night long. And I uh, met a lot of cool people out there, other people doing the same stuff as I'm doing. Uh, it's been really fun. Uh, but just a lot of memories of the season through these videos through these fans uh you know i don't think i've ever got as mad at racing as i did at martinsville and uh but you know that's the part of the passion if the sport ain't got that passion if you got a driver out there and they get wrecked and you don't get pissed you're not a fan and once it, once you look back on it you just laugh at it you're like man i was pissed off that day but yeah <laughs> Yeah, that was, it was a great season. And then, you know, coming down to that final four at the end of the year, every one of them had a chance to win it. And uh, Logano had it, but sparked at the right time. So, And uh, I know everybody on the Internet saying uh, that the real champion didn't win and stuff like that. But Logano won by how the rules are made. To me, obviously, I didn't want him to win, but, you know, he's the real champion because he won how the rules are set. You know, so, uh, that's just the way it is. And, uh, you can't change the NASCAR rules. Brian France had it screwed up so bad. I mean, I don't know. Hopefully they'll overcome this in the future. But we had some good racing this year. We had seven or eight really, really good races. So, hopefully next year will bring us better races. Just hope for the best. Uh, and they might bring horrible racing. I don't know what to expect from it, uh. So we'll see about, about about that situation. But, uh, yeah, going into next year, you know, obviously, I'm going to be changing gears. 78 no more, 19, be number 19. Uh, obviously, I'm going to go broke by and all this stuff. Uh, hopefully, I'll sign a three or four year contract. So, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't want to keep buying stuff. But, uh, yeah, yeah, what a great right it was the 78 uh being such a fan of Truex for such a long time 
I never thought, never dreamed this would even happen to that they, he would end up with a caliber team that could win championship after championship and win four to eight races every year. I, I just never dreamed that would happen and glad it did. Whether it continues, if it don't, it don't. It was still a great era, great five years around there. So we'll see. I think we'll be competitive. I think we'll start out a little slow, but towards the middle of next year, I expect big expectations out of the 19 car. So. We'll see you there. Uh, like I said, getting back to uh, meeting people. It was really fun to meet all you guys. And uh, looking forward next year to everybody getting this Pick 5 contest. And uh, hoping to get more subscribers on. Get more people involved in on it. And just have a good time. That's what it's all about. And getting back to some good racing. Uh, and uh, like I said, uh, my little girl, she's been running me to death. Sure, what a week of Thanksgiving. I just, I think I lost five pounds chasing her around the house. <laughs> she, she'll be four year old and she's got that energy right now. It's just, of course, she wants everything in the store. I gotta buy everything I see. Well, I don't buy everything I see. Santa wants to buy everything she sees. And I keep telling her that Santa only can bring so many toys, so. <laughs> what happens but uh yeah i'm looking forward to next year hope you guys are too and uh we'll try to update the channel here talk us go back to the channel and we'll try to once i get uh stuff figured out i'm gonna put different images on it and try some different stuff next year and try to uh do better with editing skills stuff it, just, it takes time especially when you're working a lot and you got kids and stuff like that you know you just ain't got the time to edit like a lot of these big YouTubers do, but, you know, I'm not on here to be famous or nothing. I just love to talk about racing and t talk with other people about it. So, uh, yeah, looking forward. So, guys, put down in the comments below. What do you think? Who do you think is going to be the man for next year? Who do you think is going to win the championship? Early predictions. I don't think anybody can predict because we don't know how the package is going to be. We don't know how things are going to happen. Uh, I don't think they are a favorite. I think you got 15 to 20 drivers that could, could win if the package fits them right. So, uh, you guys tell me what you think. And we'll get these videos. We'll start rolling them out. And uh, start getting everything ready. So, uh, hope everybody's doing good. And have a good one, guys. We'll see you later.